Mr. Vice President, Mr. Madison, Senator Burr, what is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and sons. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all Unless, Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, yes Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck. You see, that was my wife who you decided to. What? She courted me, escorted me to bed, and when she had me in a corner, that's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee. I paid him quarterly. I may have mortally wounded my prospects, but my papers are orderly. As you can see, I kept a record of every check in my check in history. Check it again against your list and see consistency. I never spent a cent that wasn't mine. You sent the dogs after my scent? That's fine. Yes, I have reason for shame, but I have not committed treason and sullied my good name. As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. All my answers to your satisfaction. My God. Gentlemen, let's go. So? The people won't know what we know. Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe to toe? Alexander, rumors only grow. And we both know what we know.